Okay, so we are now on trigonometric equation. This is our last ano, our last topic before your uh, sixth long exam. So we are given here an equation involving a tangent function. Okay, so tangent, this is part A, so there are three plus. So tangent is squared x is uh, minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so dito meron tayong okay, meron tayong equation involving tangent. So, ang unang ginagawa natin in solving equations such as this is to solve for tangent x. Unang unang ginagawa natin is to solve for tangent x. Okay, so how do we solve for tangent x? So, we need to transpose itong we need to transpose negative 3 to the other side of the equation. Ibig sabihin nito, this will become tangent squared x is equal to 3. And then, we have to eliminate the square. So, we take the square root of both sides. So, tangent x therefore is equal to square root of 3. Okay, after we have solved for the tangent of x, okay, so we can now, we can now solve for x. Okay, but remember, dito na tayo magkakaroon ng analysis, ano? When we have solved for tangent x, pag-isipan muna natin konti. Okay, remember in the uh, Cartesian plane, yung unit circle natin, the, the involved function is tangent and uh, the sign of the tangent function is positive. Diba, sabi natin noon, tangent is positive dito, quadrant 1 or quadrant quadrant 3. Therefore, ang sagot natin dapat for x should be in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 3. Okay, alam natin in, in, in radian, ano? radian yung mga ano natin, this is 0 radian, this is pi over 2 radian, this is pi radian, and this is 3 pi over 2 radian. <clears throat> so, ang ano natin, dapat merong ano eh, merong condition. That is why it's called uh, ano, conditional, conditional trigonometric equation. Dapat may condition where should the value of theta lies. Okay, ang sabi dito sa example problem natin, find the solution set of the equation if the value of x is between 0 and pi over 2. Ang ibig sabihin nito, our x should be between 0 and pi over 2. Okay, ang tanong ngayon, what is the what is the value of x? Uh, to solve this one, we can use our calculator actually. So, ang ginagawa lang natin, x is equal to inverse tangent of square root of 3. So, meron na tayong value ng x. Okay, ilabas natin ang mahiwagang calculator. So, x, inverse tangent of square root of 3. Remember, ano, na dapat naka-radian yung calculator ninyo kapag nagsasolve kayo ng ganito. Okay, therefore, x is equal to pi over 3 or 1 third pi. Okay, pwede na natin isulat dito. This is pi over 3. 3. So, ito na. So, pi over 3 is in the first quadrant. So, ito lang yung sagot natin. Okay? Kung walang restriction yan, ang ibig sabihin, there are infinitely many solutions kapag walang restriction. Pero may restriction that your angle should be between 0 and pi over 2. So, pi over 3 lang ang sagot. Okay? Okay, let us solve the other one. Uh, letter B naman, our problem or our equation is given as 2 times cosine squared x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so since cosine naman ang given, we have to solve for cosine x muna. Okay, so paano natin gagawin ito? We have to transpose uh, 1 to the other side. So, 2 cosine squared x equals 1. And then, we divide both sides by 2. So, cosine squared x equals 
1 half and then we take the square root of both sides so cosine x is equal to uh, square root of 1 half okay so kapag ano natin yan uh, pwede nang ganyan eh, wait lang hindi ko nasulat yung x cosine x equals square root of 1 half so we can actually use uh, we can actually write square root of 1 half as square root of 2 over 2 now we can solve for x x is equal to cosine inverse of square root of 1 half so ito alam natin that x should be between 0 and pi over 2 as well so hindi na tayo ano data we can actually directly use our calculators Yan, pi over 4 naman. Okay? So, pi over 4. So, for letter B, our answer is x is equal to pi over 4. So, pi over 4 is between 0 and pi over 2 as well. So, yan na yung sagot natin.